Are you ready for an exciting red and glazing adventure in the world of art? Today, we're going to learn about a talented artist named Titian. As always, we have two jokes about Titian to round out our video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some art-themed voyage. Let's sail! Titian was born in Italy over 500 years ago and was considered one of the best painters of his time. His paintings were so realistic that people thought they could step right into the scene. Join, Join us, us, a professional artist, Pavla, curious child, and our two cats, as we explore the stories behind some of the world's most famous masterpieces. We flip through the pages of beautifully illustrated books and bring the art to life in a way that's both fun and educational for kids and adults alike. You can even join in and draw along with us in some of our videos. Don't miss out on the fun. Subscribe, Subscribe now, now and discover the world of art like never before. And if you love art as much as we do, give us a cat in the comments section. One fun fact about Titian. He was so good at painting hair, that people would come from far and wide just to see his paintings of hair. Can you imagine that? When you look at a painting by Titian, you can imagine him carefully mixing his paint, including the special Titian Red, and then using it to paint the hair of his subjects. Titian Red is a special type of rare and expensive paint. Did you know that Titian was also a master of glazing technique? He used the special technique to make his paintings look even more lifelike. This is when he would layer different colors on top of each other to create a unique look. Titian was also known for his portraits of important people like kings and queens. He was such a talented artist that the people in his portraits looked like they were alive. Sacred and Profane Love shows two women, one dressed in white and the other without clothes. The woman in white represents love that is pure and special, like love for God or family. The other woman represents love that is more physical, like love between two people who are in love. The way the women are arranged makes it look like they are having a conversation, and the painting tells a story about the different types of love. Bacchus and Ariadne is one of Titian's masterpieces. The painting depicts the ancient Greek myth of Bacchus, the god of wine and fertility, and Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos. According to the myth, Bacchus fell in love with Ariadne after she helped Theseus defeat the Minotaur. It is a great example of the high Renaissance style, characterized by a focus on balance, harmony, and proportion. Bacchus and Ariadne is an iconic painting that captures the essence of the Renaissance and the imagination of the ancient myths. And, and now, now, as always, we have two jokes. Why did Titian's paintings always look so happy? Because, because they, they were, were always, always in a frame, frame of, of mind. mind. Why did Titian cross the road? To, to get, get to, to the, the other canvas. canvas. So, what can we learn from Titian? Well, First of all, he shows us that anything is possible if we work hard and have a creative mind. He also reminds us that art is a way to bring joy and beauty into the world. May your eyes be filled with the beauty of art and your hearts with the wonder of creativity. Until we meet again, may the colors of Titian's paintings bring joy to your soul. Farewell, Farewell dear friends. If you know any jokes about artists, we would love it if you share them in the comments section below. Adieu! Adieu.